Western. Thanks to a mid-2000s gunslinger renaissance, everything's coming up cowboy on the silver screen, but where video games are concerned, they remain the runt, sucking hind tit on a great big sweaty hog that is the video game industry. And fuck, between Custer's Revenge and Call of War as the cartel, I don't blame a fucking soul for not wanting to put all their eggs in the pistolero basket. Hell, even when they managed to get Western games right, it didn't happen overnight. 2005's underrated classic Gun managed to get the gunplay open world and storytelling down, but fuck the dog on atmosphere and customization. Pardon my French. Oh, I speak French. 2007's Call of Juarez nailed the atmosphere and open world, but couldn't be more linear without a vanity mirror and one of Amanda Bynes' nostrils pressed against it. Ditto for Dead Man's Hand, and that goes double for Red Dead Revolver, but Red Dead Redemption? Now we're fucking talking. Three years removed from its 2010 release, and Red Dead Redemption remains one of the most gorgeous games I've ever played. Desert landscapes teeming with arid flora and fauna, verdant forests standing becalmed at the feet of regal snow-crowned peaks. I've said it before, but I'll reiterate the cliche. Graphics aren't even mostly everything, but when applied in service to atmosphere, they turn an inanimate digital playground into a living world. And while the character models haven't fared a third as well as the vistas, the more realistic art design has aged considerably better than for for example, GTA 4, wherein skin the shade and consistency of bubblegum and bulbous dwarf noses the size of October cabbages evidently constitutes photorealism. The gunplay, while perhaps a hair too easy, is nevertheless perfectly intuitive and fun, and makes for a control scheme that's tighter than Jamie Presley's ass. The only real problem is the carrying over the GTA 4 duck and cover approach to gunfights it doesn't translate nearly as well in a western genre where, frankly, players just want to walk out in the open and murder everyone where they stand. Is not the primary appeal of the entire gunfighter genre not to feel like a high-octane, tobacco-chomping, bandolier-bedecked, duster-draped, grizzly punch and badass? Does not the concept of cowering behind a wooden box for fear of having your entire head taken off by a purse gun run incrementally contrary to this concept? And don't you fucking dare explain it away with the standby realism argument. When I'm blowing zombies the fuck away on the DLC, dodging jackalopes, and leaping from moving locomotives for half the fucking game, the last word I want uttered is fucking realism, alright? That said, Red Dead Redemption stands shoulder to shoulder with Call of Juarez Bound in Blood as one of exactly two existing Western games that manages to include high noon pistol duels without shitting every bed in six adjacent city blocks in the process. And with their reliance on design hallmarks like timing, atmosphere, tension, and perhaps most offensively of all, skill, the reason why it's a plunge most modern studios refuse to take isn't exactly an Agatha Christie novel in the making. The vast majority of modern developers think atmosphere is what happens when you desaturate the screen, smother it in lens flare, and the sound designer devotes 21 separate audio tracks to what sounds like a belt sander deflowering a pitch shifter, which according to the game box is something named Skrillex. When I envision the circumstance under which Skrillex could provide the soundtrack for one man blowing another man to kingdom come, let's just say neither of them has a gun. What a type you must consort with. That you not fear beating for such an insult. Where the controls are concerned, the only substantive black mark materializes when our pal John Marston occasionally decides that taking cover, scaling a wall, or mounting a horse is considerably less entertaining than falling on his fucking face. Thanks a million, Euphoria! I've lamented Rockstar's dogged insistence on shoehorning their beloved Euphoria physics engine into every conceivable release, no matter how inappropriate, but as backbendingly batshit as Euphoria was when it launched Greyhound buses into low-level orbit back in GTA 4, it's twice twice as invasively ludicrous in Red Dead Redemption. Flying cows, bipedal coyotes, bandits with horse animations, the consequences of once again banking on a half-cocked tech demo masquerading as a retail-ready game engine are as palpable today as they were at launch. Red Dead Redemption's glitches are practically their own YouTube genre at this point. I'm begging you, motherfuckers. Don't make the dysphoria mistake a three-peat with GTA V, Rockstar. Devote a few cents of your untold mountainous billions in raw profit to the purchase of a fucking clue. How's that? a fucking recommendation. The story is masterfully told and narrow enough in scope that it never ventures too far into full-blown historical epic cheese. From the opening crawl to the close of the supremely satisfying epilogue sequence, it remains a deeply personal tale of vengeance, forgiveness, redemption, and the price tendered for all of the above, albeit with chapters that are bookended with immensely out-of-place licensed music. It's so far, so far away. It's so far. So far away. 
The soundtracks receive metric shitloads of praise, so it sure as shit doesn't need mine. And with the obnoxious granola chomping guitar folk wailing over your first Mexican sunset, I like to believe I'm in the fucking right on this one. If they'd stuck to the Ennio Morricone worship and shut the fuck up with MTV Unplugged, I'd be right on board. Either way, the only proper soundtrack for Red Dead Redemption remains available solely through the Xbox 360's custom soundtrack feature, and its name is Motorhead's Ace of Spades album. You know it to be true. Upon repeated playthroughs, subtle flourishes in even the most innocuous side quests bring Red Dead's masterful story into even sharper focus. Not that it couldn't stand to cut a little flab. The entire Mexico sequence takes up over half of the game for one fucking thing, with the far more interesting sequences in Rio Bravo and Tall Trees acting as glorified bookends. Then again, all I have to do to feel like I'm in Mexico is drive 15 minutes into South Phoenix, so I won't rule out locale fatigue. The downside, what the story builds to, is considerably less enthralling than the sum of its parts. Yeah, I know. Leave it to Razor fish to find a black cloud for every silver lining, but fuck you, I don't like this ending. Spoiler alert for the three and a half people who've yet to imbibe in Red Dead Redemption three years after its fucking release. Color me cynical, but I find it a smidge incredulous that the same man who shanked a rampaging grizzly bear with a bowie knife like a narc in a prison shower when faced with a military firing squad that's already proven itself incapable of hitting the broadest side of the broadest barn gets dropped like a sack of beef in front of one. The ending is preachy, it's gimmicky, and perhaps most offensively it flouts the same Looney Tunes logic that the preceding 20 plus hours were fucking predicated on. Now where have I heard that before? Now, now, it's not as bad as all that, but the absence of a negative is not evidence of a positive. Just don't tell that to IGN's review staff. You motherless fucking whores. Fuck you! Fuck me! I find nothing quite so frustrating as a narrative comprised of one protracted flash of brilliance after the other that inexplicably makes like bad fellatio and falls the fuck apart at the conclusion. How fortunate for Red Dead Redemption, then, that the preceding 20 hours or so of narrative ascent is so profoundly satisfying. There are some really good Western titles on the market, but none as fucking fantastic as this. The perfect hybrid of sandbox, shooter, RPG, and adventure make this, hands down, the finest product ever produced by the foundry of fuck yeah that is Rockstar. I'm shrugging fairly hard at GTA 5 these days, but wherever the fuck Red Dead Redemption came from, I'll take another five, please. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed. <laughs>